Last time on Total Drama, the Top 100. The teams were introduced. Some were happy with their teams, others not so much. The challenge was a redo of the very first challenge. MacArthur said some harsh words that ended up blowing up in her face. It all came down to the Amber Scorpions and the Ravenous Spiders, but Scott rigged the hot tub so Cameron would be blamed for their failures. And though Cameron tried to convince everyone that Scott is evil, it fell on mostly deaf ears, and Cameron was the first contestant eliminated. Episode 2 begins with everyone sleeping soundly until Chris wakes up everyone before the crack of dawn. However, the hopping stink bug Bugs are already up as Owen stank up the cabin and Owen apologizes. Everyone else gets outside and Chris tells them that they are going to run around the island. Eva doesn't have her violent eruption this time as she instead has a confessional where she just says that she hates Chris. Dwayne really isn't having a good time and Damien puts his arm around him so he can carry him to the finish. The first five teams to arrive will get immunity, and the teams who get immunity are the Flaming Cockroaches, as even with Chet, they make it in time. Mediocre Mealworms are safe, Excited Ants surprisingly make it, Tenacious Earwigs, and finally the Silent Crickets make it. They are told by Chris that they may have the feast and then go back to bed, but the other five teams must compete in a grueling test of endurance. The remaining five teams are told that they must stay up as long as they can, and the first team to fall asleep is going to be up for elimination. Owen almost immediately falls asleep by the 12 hour mark and Wayne laughs at that with Brody saying how he went out like a light. Rodney is walking around trying to find the right words to say to Kitty before Rodney bumps into Stephanie and Stephanie tells him to watch where he's going causing Rodney to fall in love with Stephanie. His reasoning being that she cares for his safety due to her telling her to watch where he's going. He tries to mumble something to Stephanie but Stephanie raises an eyebrow and punches him in the gut telling him to not ever talk to her again. The Amber Scorpions has Damien and Dwayne bonding with Dwayne telling stories of his past to Damien while giving him life advice. Damien absorbs every bit of it. Dwayne in Confessional says that he loves that he finally has someone who loves to hear his stories. He wishes Junior was that way before snapping out of it and saying that Junior is perfect just the way he is. Damien also has a confessional where he says that he didn't really have a good father figure in his life, so Dwayne could really serve as a good father figure, but like, stepfather obviously. Dawn talks with Sierra and Cody, and Sierra and Cody talk about potential teammates, and Dawn says they can probably get Dwayne and Damien, but Cody rejects it, saying that they're nice, but Dwayne especially is bad at challenges. As Cody finishes that sentence, Dwayne hits the ground to sleep. Sadie is talking to Amy, thinking they're BFFs, and Amy asks Mary if she has any earplugs, and Mary hands him over. Amy then leans back before falling asleep as well, as Sadie continues talking. On the ravenous spiders, Scott is sitting next to Chase while they talk about their lives, and Junior comes over and sits with them, and Scott raises an eyebrow, but Chase invites him to join the conversation, but they quickly realize how soft this boy is compared to the both of them, as he tells them what his biggest act of defiance was. Scott in Confessional says that Junior is the perfect person to use as an extra vote. He's naive and innocent, qualities that won't allow him to see a backstab coming. Chase is also a good contender. Sky goes to Lashana and tells her that Scott is making connections and her and Lashana will probably be voted out sooner rather than later. Lashana agrees and asks if she can get Jen, Taylor, and Blainley and she will get DJ. Sky agrees and goes to Blainley, Taylor, and Jen, but they immediately sense her desperation and start roasting her sense of style, to which it makes Sky embarrassed and she leaves before saying that three people is good enough since they aren't gonna lose this regardless. When Lashana asks how she knows, Sky just says that she will die before she falls asleep today. On the Drowning Mosquitoes, Millie goes to Crimson to try to get her to tell her her life story, but Crimson remains silent and Millie just leaves, sensing she's unwanted. On the other hand, she falls into a bad situation as she goes to Alejandro and Alejandro starts flirting with her, causing Millie to fall for him and he gets her to spill her life story, even giving up information on her season's contestants. Jasmine in Confessional says that Alejandro sure is cute, but he is hiding the downsides of him so well he's probably a master manipulator. MacArthur says in Confessional that she doesn't get why they like Alejandro so much if he can't eat a whole pot of pork and beans by himself, then they aren't for her. Sam also gets brought in by Alejandro when Alejandro starts asking him questions about games, saying how his father got rid of his gaming system so he could learn sports, and Sam begins teaching him, though in confessional Alejandro says that his team is already his and he despises people who waste their lives playing games like Sam. Eva and Crimson don't really do anything together, but they are sitting together in silence until Eva offers one of her earbuds to Crimson and Crimson takes it and listens to the music with Eva. On the scheming flies, Noah says 
says in confessional that he really can't stand this team since it's so macho and juvenile. Back at the camp, Duncan is with Pete and they drop Max's hand into a cup of water and Max pisses himself which makes Pete burst out laughing and Max says that they will rue the day they mess with him. Elodie in confessional says that in a juvenile way, Duncan's kinda cute, but a relationship would never work between them as Duncan probably won't change for the better. Priya tries to fangirl to Noah, but Noah shoves it off, saying how it must be such an honor to see an E-list celebrity. Priya leaves and instead decides to talk to Lindsay and asks about her experiences and how Tyler is doing and more topics, and they actually hit it off. And eventually, Devin joins in the conversation as well, which spawns more topics. Joe tells Noah that he can at least try to form connections, and Noah just says that the last time he made a connection with someone, he was on a race with that person who was made 95% of gas in fact. Dave goes to Noah and says that he gets it, he doesn't really get along with anyone either. To which Noah just says that that's probably why he's talking to him then. He thinks they are so alike. Dave tries to say something but Noah says that he can stay, he's the least offensive out of everybody here. Dave smiles and offers Noah hand sanitizer and he takes some. After 48 hours, most people are awake, but seriously miserable. On the Amber Scorpion, Sierra, Cody, Dawn, Ella, Anwi, and Sadie are barely awake. On the Ravenous Spiders, Lashana, Skye, Scott, Junior, and Chase are still awake. On the Drowning Mosquitoes, Eva, Sam, Jasmine, Crimson, Alejandro, and MacArthur are still awake. On the Scheming Flies, Priya, Joe, Duncan, and Elodie are awake. And finally, on the Hopping Stink Bugs, Wayne and Brody are the last ones awake after Justin gets revealed with his makeup trick, and Wayne and Brody high-five each other due to being the last two, but due to the fact that they're so tired, they hit each other in the face and pass out. This makes the hopping stink bugs the losers, and the remaining players awake give a half effort cheer as they have survived another episode. At elimination, we see Stephanie voting for Rodney, Brick voting for Stephanie, and finally Justin just staring at himself in the mirror before quickly putting down a vote. Chris tells the team that marshmallows indicate survival, and whoever doesn't get a marshmallow must walk down the dock of shame, board the boat of losers, and they can't come back. Ever. He then picks up his first marshmallow and says that if he gives them a marshmallow, they have zero votes. Justin, Brick, Kitty, Dakota, and Miles. He then says that the next marshmallow will go to those with one vote, and he throws it to Rodney, Wayne, and Brody. Stephanie wonders why she got voted at all, and Chris points out that she hit Rodney, and says that that's a possible reason she may be going, and Stephanie huffs and sits back down. Chris then says that the person being eliminated with a vote of 5-2 to two is... Stephanie. Stephanie stands up angrily, shouting that this is unfair, but Chris suddenly says, you're safe. And Stephanie stops and asks him to repeat that, and Chris obliges, saying that she's safe. She then starts cheering and eats her marshmallow. Owen looks down, disappointed, and Wayne says that it's no hard feelings, and Owen gives him a hug that almost kills him before boating the boat of losers. While leaving, Owen says it's disappointing he didn't get any farther, but he doesn't really need the money. He was just here to have fun. He hopes that Wayne finds his friend, and he wishes Noah luck in the game. Chris then tells them that there are still 97 contestants, not including them. It would be unwise to lose again, and they nod their heads before leaving. The votes are as follows. Justin voted for Brody since he didn't know who to vote for. Brick voted for Stephanie since he didn't appreciate his teammate assaulting another teammate. Rodney voted Owen for stinking up the cabin and being the first one to fall asleep. Kitty votes Owen for the same reasons. Wayne voted Owen for the same reasons. Owen votes Stephanie for the same reasons as Brick. Dakota votes Wayne since she finds him annoying and disgusting. Brody votes Owen for the same reasons. Stephanie votes Rodney since she hated his advances on her. And finally, Miles voted for Owen for the same reasons as everyone else. And with that, the second contestant is gone. Only 98 more to go. What will happen next? Find out next time on Total Drama, the top 100.